Hot off the press, well, hot off the internets. A new update has just dropped from Zwift across all platforms, which introduces flexible training plans. It takes the existing workouts and workout library, puts it into more of a calendar-based schedule that's more human than you may expect. It's kind of handy. The way this differs from a standard training plan is it gives you a time frame to complete it rather than a specific day. So for example, you may be given three workouts to do in a week, and it says have them completed by Sunday night rather than have this one on this day, this one on this day, and this one on this day. You can also skip workouts too and get them done outside. Let's jump over to Zwift and scrub through all the new features that have just popped up on screen. Okay, let's go for a walkthrough of the new flexible training plans here on Zwift. Nice chilly night here in London. We've already logged in, so we need to press E on the keyboard to go to workout mode, or we can go to menu and workouts up the top there. Now what we have here is the standard workout tab where we can see the downloaded workouts. And we'll just go through the old ones for a start to show you how it used to work. So for example, a 12 week winter plan advanced, that's quite uh, timely here given it's winter next week here in Australia. And uh, that looks like the first week's pretty easy. It's my kind of training plan. So what we'll have here is you pretty much just click these yourself and get these completed. You've got to keep track of those yourself. But things have changed as of today. Plans up the top there, all new, all improved, training plans with a decent schedule involved. So let's have a look at these ones here. It appears we have nine different types of plan for the cyclist, and we have three for the runner. So top to bottom, what we have here is Crit Crusher, four to eight weeks, five hours per week. Fondo, three to four weeks, five to eight weeks again, five hours for the Grand Fondo one. Oh, it's a Fondo and Grand Fondo. Okay, there's a build me up. Bit of a description there of what's going on. FTP builder, active off season, that's a nice one. PRL 100 event over there in the UK. Gravel grinder, oh, they've hit the tags on the, uh, what's popular at the moment, gravel being uh, quite the new thing. TT tune up, there we go, nice one for me there. To get back into racing against the clock and three run plans from 5K, 10K, and half marathon. Okay, being a TT, I wanna look at the TT one for a start. Let's have a look at this plan here. Five to eight weeks, seven hours per week. A bit of a spiel about what's happening. We have some little icons down here. FTP is your physiological red line, fitness benchmark for training, okay. All around it, VO2, etc. Okay, these icons are Indicative of what you can expect from the plan, but let's have a look at view plan from here. So the whole eight weeks is lined out here. Prep, scroll across, tempo work, endurance work, and then we're on to week one. So within week one here, it appears we have one, two, three, four, five, six workouts. Well, get the mouse back to week. Okay, let's click back there. Scrubbing through the workouts in week one here. Pretty comprehensive, and that's just week one. So week two, week three, week four. So scrolling through, scrolling through, there's a ton of new workouts here. All targeted for my TT tune-up uh, training plan. All the way through, you can see that there's a ton of stuff to do. On, 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 and all the way through to the end. Endurance number four at the end of week eight. Well, that's quite a lot of work to get done over around two months. So let's click enroll in that one and see what this is all about. Okay, set plan duration, this is new. This plan ends, I guess that'd be the default eight weeks there. But as we scrub back and forth, we can make it the full eight weeks are ah, there. Or we can scrub down and shorten that into seven hours per week. So there we go, there's the flexible part of the flexible training plan. So let's go to, let's fast track this one. We'll scrub it down to five weeks, we'll click enroll, and then we have it. It's changed that based on the, probably the most quality chosen workouts to do. Best bang for your buck, I'd call it. So what we have here is available workouts to do here in erg mode. So, aha, you can see there, that workout's available and I can do that workout. 
This workout here is unavailable. It's only available in 17 hours. This one, three days. This one, five days. You can see what they've done here. They've locked them out, not for any gamification or leveling up or anything like that, but it ensures that you stick to the plan itself. You don't overtrain, and it has a ton of rest involved. So, I mean, we pushed out to this plan here, it isn't available for another 19 days. So it locks people out of doing too much, and I guess it includes a fair bit of rest in there as well with those. So if I hit workout on that, let's, there's a little, uh, oh, hang on, what, back, 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 back. There is a little icon down here, I did it. We'll talk about that one in a sec, but let's just hit workout on the available workout. We hit that. Oh, we went to the other menu to get to there. So this is what will come up. And I simply get my workout done. Workout screen there in front of me. And away we go. He is ready to roll. Okay, jumping out of the workout, back to free ride mode here. We'll go back in to the plans. So I haven't successfully completed that one yet. 17 hours still hasn't ticked by. But what if I went outside and did this plan? Well, I can click on here. I did it. So I rode outside, completed on this date, tick box gained, and tomorrow this one will be available for me to do. So that's pretty cool. You can actually do a ride outside, if it's in the system here, and click on I did it. So you're not locked into just riding Zwift to get through the entire training block. That's pretty cool. Okay, run-wise, let's have a quick look at one of those. Uh, we'll go to 5K run. It's probably the most beneficial one for me at the moment. Six to eight weeks, 57 Ks per week, 5K record breaker, bit of info here. Let me the plan on that one. And again, short heels, short and easy. You can see there are quite a few, that's just week one. There are quite a few straight there. Let's hit enroll on that one and see what pops up. 5K record breaker, six to eight weeks. We can scrub that through down to six weeks. We can push that out to eight weeks. Let's push it out to eight. See what happens. Okay. It says here, in order to sign up for the record 5K breaker, you must cancel your current enrollment for the TT tune-up. Oh, I'm either a runner or a rider. You can't do both at this point. Okay. Are uh, you sure you still want to do this? Okay, that's fine. Let's cancel that plan. And let's uh, have a look at what's available here. And what happens when I do the workout? There we go. I'm straight in running gear. Looking good. Looking good. Even that hair's looking good. Okay, let's scrub through that and jump out. So jumping out of that for now, if you're in a plan that you don't want to be in or you want to change plans, or just investigate what's going on or tie your shoes up like my guy's doing here. I think that's what he's up to. Back to E to get to workout mode. We can hit cancel plan there and we cancel that plan and we're out. We can choose another one. And out of interest, we'll jump on the gravel grinder line and have a look at that. So develop your power at a low cadence. Okay, that's handy tool to have for gravel grinding. Climb all day over rough terrain, yep. Incorporates a taper, always handy. Six hours a week, 12 to six weeks. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay, quite a comprehensive list of workouts. Sweet side builds, threshold fun, cadence pyramid. So you can see here, there's quite a few new workouts added to the library there. Let's enroll in this one. And again, same scrub there. So if you're looking at preparing for your race, match that up with your race date you want to be absolutely fit as can be for, and the way you go. So we've got here, we've only got the same lockout in place for me to get those done. Once you're enrolled and completing a training plan, when you go to Exit Zwift here, you can see a little update of what you've got coming. I've got 58 remaining workouts done here. So yeah, there will be more than a few hundred different workouts to do with all these new plans. So it'll show me down there, show me how far I've gone through, and I can keep track of that. Once you are enrolled in a program for the flexible training plans, when you start Zwift, you'll be prompted with a reminder of what you have to do to get through the week. What I've got here is the gravel grinder, week one, reminding me what I have to do. So I can skip that, go not now, jump into Zwift as per normal, join a group ride, or just go for a ride myself. Or I can hit workout, and we're there. Pre-selected, up the top there. We can get that workout done, we can choose the route, and 
hit go, and away we go. Straight into our workout plan for the day to tick that box for the week. The Zwift Companion app will also track where you are throughout that entire flexible training plan. So if you open up the Zwift Companion app, it'll show you on screen where you are in that plan. For me, I haven't even started. So there it is, a quick walkthrough of all the new features in the flexible training workouts. Remembering, this is based purely off your FTP, so it's advisable to make sure your FTP is correct before you start any of these plans. Do that either via the FTP workout on Zwift, or do a really, really hard race and watch that number bump up through the roof. Oh, and once you finish your plan, you'll also get a little badge added to your account as well, so you can level up while you get quicker on the bike or on the run. Okay, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.